Thank you for taking a few minutes to review Carnegie's Zarel. We're going to take a few minutes and address the most commonly asked questions. 95% of the time, you are going to use Zarel as a wall covering with a paper backing. If you use it for upholstery, you're probably going to use an acrylic backing. For high traffic areas where you need a moisture barrier, you can use Zarel X Protect. Okay? The other thing that most people don't know about Zarel, well, first of all, everybody knows Zarel is bleach cleanable. That's a given. That's why hospitals love it. But it's also relatively puncture resistant. You can take a Phillips screwdriver, punch two holes in it, take your fingers and rub, and it becomes self-healing. This is a toothbrush. A lot of people say that their wall covering, their polyethylene, is equal to Zarel. It's not. Here's how they scrub their Zarel. Little toothbrush. Zarel has a million double rubs. This is a steel wire brush. You can, and most people do, scrub aggressively. But the real key to Zarel, especially as a wall covering, is when you clean it with a solvent, the solvent never permeates the wall. It's the moisture barrier between the Zarel and the backing that keeps whatever solvent you use to clean the Zarel with from getting into the to the wall or the backing. Zarel has been around for 35 years. It's been proven. It's the most durable wall covering, the most durable upholstery in the industry. Thank you for taking a few minutes to review Zarel. One other quick thing, of course I forgot. Pricing of Zarel. If you go with the standard solid color like you see behind us, and we have many colors, it's roughly $35 a yard. If you go with a printed or an embossed Zarel, it's roughly $55 a yard. If you go with an embroidered Zarel, where we take Zarel yarns and we weave on top of Zarel, it's going to be $85 plus per yard. Again, thanks for taking time to review Carnegie's Zarel.